Hi, my name is Rob Ray with MP3 Car. I'm here with Paul, one of the engineers and the founder of PLX Devices. Uh, yes, I'm the uh, founder, president, and CEO of PLX oh. Devices. All right. And so Paul has got an interesting array of sensors that can plug in all over your car and then transmit really good juicy data that you can't get off your OBD port, a standard OBD2 port, uh, and it transmits it to your iPhone or your PC. And there's a couple different ways to get it, which I'll let Paul talk more about in a second, but uh, you can get it over Wi-Fi or a serial port. So Paul, show us some of your sensors here and what you might want to do. Okay, so we make uh, a line of sensor modules and these are called SMs. Um, you can uh, pretty much daisy chain up to 32 different aftermarket sensors uh, into any type of serial, uh, serial stream. So essentially what we've got here is we've got water temperature, uh, water temperature sender, we've got a wideband air fuel ratio uh, sender, oil pressure sender, air intake temperature sender, exhaust gas temperature sender, and vacuum and boost. And some of the more popular uh, sensor modules is going to be the wideband air fuel ratio as well as exhaust gas temperature and vacuum and boost. And what's neat about our sensor modules is that you can daisy chain up to 32 uh, boxes. So you can have multiples of the same one or you can have different varieties. You can mix and match any combination you want. So you can always expand uh, the setup. And what's nice is it's streaming out 19200 baud. Uh, you can feed this directly into your PC via USB or RS-232 and you can create neat uh, applications for it. But all your sensor data is coming in here at uh, a rate of 10 hertz, 10 times per second, consistently, no matter how many sensor modules you have in the chain. So if you have one sensor module, it's 10 hertz. If you have 32, it's 10 hertz. So uh, people can get creative with it and uh, you know, uh, pick up the sensors that, uh, that you want uh, to pick up. So these are all linked together with this 3.5 millimeter cable, and how long can that cable be between sensors? Uh, the cable can be uh, as short as a foot and as long as maybe about six feet uh, per Between per sensors, okay. Between sensors, yes. And we all, you also have this really neat little wireless device that if you don't want to plug it into your PC, you can plug it directly into this device here, right. and what the device will do is send all that data, all 10 hertz of that data, for all 32 sensors over Wi-Fi to your PC. Exactly, yes. Yeah. So we have a product over here. Uh, yep. It's called the Kiwi Wi-Fi uh, okay. plus IMFD. Okay. And what you can do is you can feed that serial stream uh -huh. into that device and you've got Wi-Fi transmitting all that same data. And your OBD data all at the same time, all in one bundle, yeah. right? Exactly, that's right. So uh, th these sensors here are anywhere from about 90 bucks all the way up to 200 bucks, depending on which sensor you're going to get. You can check out their website for exact pricing, depending on which sensor is most exciting to you. Exactly. Right, about $90 to about $200. Okay, so we've got all this great serial data. Do you ex uh, have documentation on the protocols? So like I'm a software developer and I want to make it I want to make it work right now in my custom piece of software. Tell us about how that works. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, the documentation on the protocol is on our website. You go to support, go to uh, application notes, and it's, there's an application note in the PDF form called uh, IMFD Serial Protocol. And you can download that. That's free. And it describes exactly how the packet formats are, are, are aligned. And it's really simple. Now these sensors, uh, do the parasitic load, do the sensors have any parasitic load? Uh, a little bit, uh, maybe about 10, 20 milliamps for the uh, passive sensors. The active sensors, like the wideband air fuel ratio, is about an amp to two amps. Okay, so you really want those powered off your accessory, not off of your uh, battery. Uh, right, yes. Okay, and then we were also talking about the Kiwi power, and the Kiwi power is about 60 milliamps, and so you can leave that one powered on for about two weeks. They're, they're working on a new version, which uh, will eventually be able to go on and off with their ignition. But if you want it quicker, you can always uh, uh, get out your soldering iron and void your warranty and uh, hack in a relay into your uh, accessory. But for now, it's a, it's a great product uh, from what we've seen so far. And this also uh, it works on the uh, Dev Toaster Rev iPhone product and Palmer Performance software. And it, if you're a software developer, you can get it on your software too. Thanks exactly. for watching our blog. Thanks for taking the time to uh, talk with us. Thank you so much. Yeah.